God damn it. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. We can't trust the Alliance. Biotics can feel safe here.
Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know. Don't try anything. We're watching you. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. Nice. Just what I was looking for. Father Kyle says we buy our acceptors stick together. Mm. We can't. Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. other men from the Alliance? Nobody cares about us, Biotics. We have to look out for each other. Just because we're... Bi we can't trust the Alliance. Ready whenever you are. <laughs> arrows to where to go. Uh. I feel we don't want to do that. Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. Say the word.
make sure that doesn't happen again. You lead, I'll follow. Definitely needs an automatic or to go on the mission indicator. Bastards. These are anything but decoration.
Aha. Uh -huh. That's what we were looking for. Yo! Oh. Dude. Nothing like a headshot to get the party started. Hello. Goodbye. What?
Yo, I'm frozen. I am Major oh, okay. Kyle. I know why you've come. We oh. have no quarrel with you. After I killed ten of you men. just leave us alone? <laughs> what happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, uh, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away in. their father, my children will be helpless. You're not leaving me much choice, Major. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must blasphemer. die. Blasphemer. See ya. What's up, bitch? Oh, shit. So kill this person might be a bonus in here. Ugh. Hey, what's that?
thing left to do is return the Normandy and file your report. Okay. Where do I file my report? I don't even know. Uh... If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy. And I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator. We were one of the first reinf- Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Hmm. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... you mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolix Syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless... You know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I need to know more about this Vrolic Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. 
I have to go. All right, see you. Huh? Commander, something you need? I have to go. Oh. Yo, why's my controller not being charged? I just put them in there. Oh. There we go. There we go. The Normandy is a prototype starship developed by the Human Systems Alliance with the Ass So. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. What's up, punk? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Well, damn, he's a bit of a jerk, isn't he? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander?
the heck? Where the hell did I do my report? Or is that automatic, maybe? Uh, pick one. Pick three. Pick one. Major Cal can't be reason that the only thing left to do is return the number and you file the report. It don't tell me how to file the report though. What's up? You would think the captain's quarters would be where I would file the reports at. But apparently apparently not. Alright. So what's in the captain's quarters? And let's try deck three, I guess. Oh, gotta take a break. I've been playing for like, oh my goodness, like eight hours maybe. Lost track of time. Up, buddy. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Ah. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? All right, you got me there. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Hmm. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting hmm? any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... We came as soon as we got the distress call, even with the fastest ship in the fleet. You did the best you could, Commander. It's my fault. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Sir.
Looking for supplies? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufact... I already... Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find... Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Mm. Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. Frigate. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally? It's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up, unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. 
Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. <coughs> but some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we... But no ship. We set out a... This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed mm. into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to mm. increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Hmm. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. Like I should go. See you later. Faster than light drives use element zero cores to reduce the mass of the ship. Larger warships are generally classified in one of four weights. Frigates are small, fast ships Frigate. used for scouting. Hell. I'm gonna quit tomorrow. But look. Mm -hmm. 
the only thing left to do is return the home and file the report. It's like, dude, how do I file the goddamn report? There's an X there. Let's see. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. It's the Admiral Hackett command. here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We never like to see civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. The news vans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Hack it out. Okay. Check out this. I remember swallowing the game on the end of the you uh... Damn, that was loud. Holy shit. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. We'll get back to it in a minute.
kill it? Yeah, I'm fucking. Oh no! Alright, I'm gonna call it a night. I've been playing this since, I don't know, like eight hours ago at least. And again, no, this, this boss battle would be a good place to end it. Uh, we'll try the boss battle one more time. call it a night. It's uh, almost 3 a.m. I'm playing. Oh, I'm out. Mm.